Greetings, everyone. This is Pastor Charles from Bucksmont Baptist Church coming to you with another episode of my story. Today, I'm going to tell the story of St. Patrick, who was, a bishop, who was uh, the Bishop of Ireland, just a little bit about his background and why um, there's a St. Patrick's Day. You know, this guy was a real person. He was a Christian. He was a follower of Jesus. Uh, he was born around 372 A.D., uh, probably about um, 350 some years after Jesus walked the earth. Uh, his parents, uh, uh, Patrick's parents, were actually Christians. They were leaders in the Christian community in his area. And, uh, uh, but he, like many people, uh, many rebellious children, did not take uh, their faith seriously. Uh, it was not a follower of Jesus until one day a disaster actually struck uh, St. Patrick. He was on the seashore when some pirates came and um, they, they uh, captured him and they sold him to a chieftain who made him 10 sheep. Basically, they sold him into slavery. And um, in his misery from being a slave, being captured and brought away from his parents, Patrick turned to God. He wrote, or um, he said, I was 16 years old and knew not the true God. But in that strange land, the Lord opened my unbelieving eyes, and although late, I called my sins to mind and was converted with my whole heart to the Lord my God. The love of God increased more and more in me with faith and the fear of his name. The Spirit urged me to such a degree that I poured forth as many as a hundred prayers in one day. And even during the night, in the forests and on the mountains where I kept my flock, the rain and snow and suffering which I endured excited me to seek after God. So, you know, Patrick came from a good Christian family. Parents were uh, Christian leaders. He did not take up that faith. Something happened to him. A tragedy happened to him. And that made him turn to God. Uh, six years later, he was able to escape and return home. However, um, when he got home, he had a dream. He had a dream that he saw um, Irish children pleading for the gospel, begging him to receive the gospel. And in his dream, it's recorded that said, uh, you know, they said, oh, uh, you know, come back and um, uh, where you once were and, and, and help us, right? And walk among us, um, I think um, is the exact quote. And um, God's spirit began to, to um, uh, dwell within him and uh, uh, really encourage him uh, to return to where his captors were, uh, to, to, to return to where he was captive and preach the gospel, right? So he was kidnapped, brought, it was able to escape and go home, but then he just heard, he heard, he had this dream that God was calling him to go back to where he was a slave and preach the gospel. And so uh, he got some Christian training and um, he uh, went back to Ireland and uh, preached the gospel, labored there for the rest of his life. You know, he often faced fierce opposition uh, when he was trying to convert the clans in Ireland to Christianity. Uh, there was fierce op opposition uh, persecution, and um, there's a, a, a prayer uh, that's attributed to uh, Patrick that I want to share with you as well. Um, and uh, in these words, he wrote, um, Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left. Christ when I lay down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I rise, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. You know, just um, uh, uh, Patrick had this um, just thirst for God, his, persecu uh, his persecution drove him to draw, draw closer to God, and his suffering 
ultimately brought him to God. So it's a very encouraging story of somebody who um, uh, was, was distant from God, encountered something, gave his life to Jesus, and then forsake, forsook everything to follow him. So just want to share with you uh, the, the story or the life of uh, St. Patrick or Patrick, the Bishop of Ireland, and he's called St. Patrick now, uh, obviously, uh, because uh, he was uh, brought into the sainthood for the Catholic Church. But uh, Patrick, the Bishop of Ireland, inspiring story. So I hope that it inspires you to live for Jesus, to know Jesus, and if you haven't yet, to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. At Bucksmont Baptist Church, we want to help you any way we can. We want to be a blessing to you. And um, uh, so if there's anything we could do, anything for we could do for you at the church, uh, please let us know. Take care.